Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is GT Robbie back with another vlog for you guys. So we are here today in the garage. We just got to the shop. Uh, don't really have too much to really show you guys today. Today I got uh, no parts to put on. I got nothing to do. So maybe soon I'll have some well-needed maintenance for the cars for you guys. But uh, basically for now I'm just waiting on, you know, I don't know. Just waiting on what to do next for the cars. Don't really have much to do so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of my cars. And basically this video is gonna be of my collection of my cars so far. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a JDM lover, so I love the JDM whips. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and give you guys a tour of the cars and what I got and what's in them basically right now. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into this video. All right guys, first things first, this is the 2022 Subaru BRZ. You guys all know this car from the start of the channel. Uh, so this car was in a wreck. He got wrecked in the front, um, as you guys know in the previous videos. Uh, we had a full rebuild on this car on the front end. So basically a whole new front end, front bumper, radiator support, all that good stuff, hood, fenders, uh, the whole shebang in the front. Uh, so pretty much this car is pretty much stock right now. Doesn't have a whole lot. I mean basically just exterior stuff here and there. Very clean paint, has a nice white pearl to it. Uh, really like this car a lot. We put the MBRP exhaust on it. We got the carbon fiber duckbill, which is very clean. Um, we also, let me show you guys the front. As you guys saw, it does have a Saibon TS style carbon fiber hood, which is very nice. Uh, very, very nice hood. I don't know, maybe I could try to wrap it in some PPF or something to protect it, but I don't know how that works with PPF. If you guys know about that stuff, you should let me know. Uh, it was a very, you know, pushed in the front end, but we got it all fixed up. Uh, this is me and my wife's car, so we're both sharing this car. It's basically our little project we have. Oh yeah, don't forget about the carbon fiber uh, mirror covers we put on it as well. I'll show you guys the inside of this car. So you guys could check out the interior of the car. This is the premium version of the car, it's not the limited. Um, but I did go ahead and put some limited parts on it, like right here. These are actually limited door panels, has the Alcantara on there uh, with the leather. And then we also got some back seat. We got some back seat stuff back there. These are the limited back seats, actually, if you guys can see that clearly. I don't know if you can or not. Let me see if I can up that brightness. But yeah, those are the limited seats in the back. Also with the Alcantara back there, so it's pretty cool. Very, very clean. So the dash is very sick on this car. Honestly, I think that's like my favorite part of this car is the dash. You can see that cool little BRZ thing it does. Um, but yeah, this car was definitely a project. Definitely don't miss uh, working on this one. Um, definitely was, I mean it is a six speed manual transmission of course, on this one. Um, but yeah, this is the 2022, we got about See about 3,500 miles on this baby. Go ahead and pop the engine for you guys. Is that thing up right there? Man, I remember building this car. Those headlights were ridiculously expensive. I think about like a thousand dollars each for each of those headlights right there. Crazy. Uh, but this does have the 2.4 liter uh, boxer engine. I think it's 2.4, might be a 2.5, but I'll look it up later. But anyways, very clean engine. Uh, I have to hold the hood up because I don't have a hood prop on it. But yeah, completely stock guys, ain't nothing crazy on this one. Uh, eventually I do want to put a turbo kit on this one, so whoever comes out with the turbo kit first, you know, I'm going to be the first one online to buy that for sure. Um, but yeah. Very fun car. Definitely enjoyed working on this car. I uh, it was one of my first builds that I ever, you know, did on a wrecked front end. And uh, we got everything, you know, intact the way it should be from stock factory and everything. Yeah, one thing I really like about these cars is the whole different change they have from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2 BRZs. Um, I really love this Gen 2 BRZ a lot. A lot of people say it looks kind of like an Accord in the back, but I kind of think it looks sick, honestly, to me, in my opinion. And we got we got a Street Hunter 
Um, license plate delete in the front. Shout out to TJ Hunt for that. Got some clean parts on this car. Freaking, this car one day will be a beast. I don't know, they have some pretty nice wide body kits for this car. You got the Pandem and they got gritties and all the other good stuff on these cars. So, I really do love the interior, interior and the exterior of this car very much. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Got on the list, we got a 2016 Subaru WRX STI. This car is very sick. I really love this car a lot. Uh, this one I got from an auction a while back. This car had some minor back end damage on it, um, but I did get that fixed. It was basically the trunk not closing right, and I uh, just had to kind of do some minor things to it here and there and got it closed. Uh, but other than that, this car came very clean from the auction. It didn't really have any body damage at all. Uh, the paint on it is very nice. It did not have these wheels on it. I put these wheels on myself. Or them from Fitment Industries. And they came in pretty good timing and everything. Uh, the only thing I did not like from Fitment Industries as well. They kind of sent some chips on them. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, but yeah, other than that, this does have the EJ25 in it. Has a stage 3 IEG Extreme Short Block on it, which I freaking love. I'm so happy this car came with that. I didn't even know it was going to come with that from the auction. Uh, they did not specify that. But I got very lucky with this car uh, for it coming with a built engine already, which is very crazy to me. I don't think a lot of people get that. Uh, but this is the limited version. So it has the nice, uh, nice leather seats and the suede has everything really nice in here uh, I love the interior of this car for sure it is a six-speed of course I love that as well Let's see how many miles we got on the car this one has about 53,000 miles uh, which is not bad at all I'm guessing the engine probably has a little bit less than that I'm very sure it does plan on having a lot of things done to this car later on in life so turbo kits and whatnot so just a very fun car to drive, honestly. What else can I say? I'll show you guys the hood. All right. I did add that IAG built sticker. Um, but yeah, kind of crazy how this car came with that engine. Uh, when I first got this car, I should have recorded the whole build on this thing. Uh, it was really kind of rough, kind of idling weird and stuff, but we got all that situated. Uh, back there, I got a. IAG air oil separator of course that I put on that myself which is a pain in the ass uh, I do not re recommend you guys trying to tackle that if you don't know about working on these because it was very difficult honestly um, but the ETS cold air intake we got on there which is located a little more down there I did kind of cut a hole in the front bumper just to kind of get some more air through there uh, because it seemed like it needed it um, here and there on the car, I got some luminous yellow badges. So I had all those myself. I got a Subi Flow license plate delete on this one. Um, these are stock headlights, but I put some vinyl around uh, the orange part of it, which looks a lot better. Uh, these are some uh, Rays. What are they called? Some kind of Rays wheels, but they're very sick. Uh, I can't remember the brand of them, but I love these wheels. Uh, these tail lights came from Subi mods which are very sick there's some nice sequential to them in the back let me show you guys that real quick oh, wrong car you guys gotta see you can see sequential on there pretty clean but yeah I really don't know how much the the miles it has on the engine but I'm pretty sure it's not really a whole lot what do you think grandpa how many miles do you think this engine has What's your guess? It was put on afterwards. It was put on, uh, I don't know when. But after the, the original engine? Yeah. Okay. Probably oh, has a good five or 10,000, huh? Yeah. But as you guys, that. yeah. But as you guys can see, I got the luminous yellow badges to match all around. Very clean. I still have on here. I do got some kickers back here. Some comp S kickers in the back. Very clean. But yeah, this is kind of a one of a kind build out here. Um, let me find out those wheels real quick. 
wheels. There's some uh, raised gram lights, 57 extremes, luminous yellows. Um, very clean wheels. They had some bronze, but I go I went with this color because I wanted to change the whole emblems and everything in this car. They were kind of old anyways. So I went with a different kind of color. Um, size of these. They're 18 by 10 and a half, 20 plus 22 millimeter offset. Engine is tuned on cob. Got a cob tuner on this. And uh, runs very good. I think it's running about 21 PSI right now. Uh, of course, sometimes it has a little bit of boost creep, but later on I want to get, uh, my plans are the top mount turbo, or the rotated kit from ETS. Do want an ETS front mount intercooler eventually. That'd be very cool to have. But yeah guys, this is definitely one of the cleaner cars I have. I definitely love this car a lot, and I got some plans for it in the future, so I've had this car for about two years now, I'd say, coming on two years. Uh, when I first got it from the auction, it wasn't in the best shape, it was completely stock. It didn't have had tail lights, it didn't have the wheels. It had actually some banged up wheels on it uh, that were very off and they were already kind of bent a little bit. So, should have recorded the whole process on this car, but did not get to do that. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys prefer this car over the BRZ or the BRZ over the STI. Uh, definitely love Subaru, so that's why I got them right now. I've always had Subarus and always been my dream cars. Um, so yeah, definitely I love this car and love uh, what we're gonna do to in the future. All right guys, last but not least, we got the 2020 50th anniversary GTR. Definitely obviously my favorite car out of all of them. Um, definitely have this car for about three years now. Uh, it's wrapped in a frozen ruby red. Has the APR carbon fiber canards on it. Uh, definitely obviously Yep, it's one of my one of my dream builds that I've always had. Definitely love this car. Sorry for all the background noise, everybody's loud over here. Uh, we got the Army Tricks 4-inch exhaust. Definitely a very nice exhaust system. Cost me about 5k for that exhaust alone. Um, has the stock wheels on it still. Stock wing, everything on it. Uh, I mean, it's a very clean car. I did do the Nissan badge delete on the back. I have the GTR badges on it. Still says 50th anniversary right there as you can see. Definitely one of the cars that I'm going to keep for a long time. I never plan on selling this car. Because it has been my dream build since high school. In the high school days. I'll show you guys the interior. Damn it's a lot of day to day. My goodness. There's kids everywhere playing. But anyways. Check out the interior. Some kind of blue color, which I do not know the blue color of it. We got the diamond stitching. This is Alcantara. Um, on all on the roof of the car, which is very sick. Uh, I definitely love the diamond stitching on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. But that Alcantara is freaking sick. Um, the interior has the blue, nice blue leather door panels as well. Uh, we got Bose speakers in here. Very sick. Heated and uh, heated seats. Not cooling, unfortunately. The rear end of the car has some Bose, some Bose speakers back here as well. So I definitely, uh, you know, definitely always bumping in this car. Um, but yeah, obviously, like I said, it's my dream build. So it's definitely one of the cars that I cherish a lot. Let's start it up for you guys. I know you guys already heard this cold start in this car a lot of times. But always bring me joy to start it up. Look at that 50th anniversary badge. Freaking sick. Uh, I got a big old screen in here. I got different functions. I got trans, I got engine. All the different gauges that make this car very, uh, very easy to tell and read. So many miles we got on this thing. Right now we had 13,000 miles today. It's got 13,009 miles on this baby. Other than that guys, I think my favorite thing about this car is definitely the interior. That's a badass interior. I don't know if you guys can see that on the seats though. They actually do say 50th anniversary on them. Might be kind of hard to tell, but they do say it. Got the GTR steering wheel. Clean uh, 17 and plus interiors of course. Yeah. 
show you guys the detail of this car. You can really see that red frozen ruby, frozen ruby red in the, in the sun. You guys can see that. It's more like a reddish tone to it. Um, very, very clean, of course. That's why I chose this color to wrap because during the night it looks black. But when you got it in the sun, it has that red, nice, uh, nice sparkle to it. Very sick, clean wrap. Honestly, one of my favorite wraps that I've ever seen. Uh, that's why I like this car, and I love the color of it. Your grandpa. If you guys enjoyed today's video give it a like and a thumbs up subscribe for more thank you guys for watching have a good rest of your day peace